in uh, sometime in November 2021. That's when the original of this song came out. And I remember sometime April, I was on YouTube and I saw the remix. And I remember how I screamed, picked up my phone and called Camido. You remember? Yeah. Camido is in the building <laughs> this morning. He's become a global icon. Where haven't you been this year? Which stage haven't you been on? <laughs> Where haven't you been this year? I haven't been at the wireless. You haven't been at the Grammys yet. <laughs> I haven't been at the Grammys Yes, yet. the BETs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we've got the BETs to go. We've got the Grammys to go. Yeah. And um, Mogo, have we been to Mogo? No, no, Mogo. We haven't. Yeah, Afri, man. Like, okay. there's a whole lot to do. Oh. So. So I was going to say, say, you've that's a little blow, but there's still a whole lot to do. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. how does it feel? Um, what can I say? I just feel like, I feel blessed. You know, I feel blessed for, like, life and to the opportunity to, you know, be doing mm. what I love. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you feel God has answered your prayers? All the time. That's yeah. how I feel all the time. Like, yeah, because yeah, I feel like there's like a thousand and one people who right. would want this opportunity mm. or to, would want to be at where I am. You know, so I only feel, feel blessed every time. Yeah. You came out, I mean, with the Akpalechi, that's my favorite <laughs> verse in that song, anyway. And yeah, yeah. everyone was singing the song of, who's this Nigerian guy? You mm. sound Nigerian. Mm. And I've been following you. You've had to use your and half of your entire lifetime explaining that away, that you are not Nigerian, you're yeah. Ghanaian. Yeah. You still get it now, don't you? Yeah, I still get it. Like, people still think, like, I'm, I'm Nigerian, and people still think I'm, I'm Kenyan, and all of those. Like, people, people still think what they think, though. Mm. But I feel mm. like it's cool. Um, it's okay for people to, because the fact that they even um, look at you or study you and see that, like, mm. and think a certain thing about you, mm. it feels like you have attention. Okay. Do you understand? It feels like people love you, and that's the only reason why they can speculate, so it's fine. But one yeah. would think that that gives a lot more credit to the Nigerian market than the Ghanaian market. You're, you're, you're one of us. Yeah. You're our own. So yeah. why are they claiming you? I mean, I, I always do my best to, like, um, clarify or, like, correct people mm. when I get a chance. But I can't always, you can't always do that, you know? Mm. So mm. it's just okay for people to think what they think. And when they get the opportunity, when you have the opportunity, you mm. correct them. So, mm. yeah. Um, I feel like it's, it's a plus still. Like, right. it's cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Camilo, where's mommy? My mom is somewhere in the Volta region. Like, she's a teacher, you know? Yeah. yeah my mom is a teacher. In which school? Um, she was a teacher in Ola Girls Senior High School, and then she became a headmistress in another school. Like, to be honest, <laughs> I'm not too sure what the name of the school is. You've but, been yeah. too busy to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's, she's still hustling, you know? She's still out there hustling. And where's daddy? Um, my dad has been late from, from time. Okay. So, yeah, hey, I never speak about that. Right. <laughs> I've never heard you say anything yeah, yeah, about Yeah, but God daddy. is my dad, so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> so, how does she feel about all of this? I, I always ask because, especially being a single mother, you lost daddy a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, my son wants to do music. She'll be skeptical. Yeah. Is this going to fly? Is this going to work? How does he put food on the table with this whole music, music? And yeah. that's how your first song starts. Every day, music, music. Right, you know? right. So how are we going to put food on the table? How does she feel now? Um, she feels like um, happy. She's happy that I finally get the chance to do what I've always like been wanting to do. You know, um, but she's always the type that preaches to me to take my time. Mm. Like she's always been um, saying to me to take my time and everything that I want will come to me. Mm. You know, so she's happy every time. Like when she, she calls me on the phone, when I call, she's like, Boomba, you know. Yay! <laughs> she's gotten the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she, yeah. she's on the Boomba oh. vibe. Oh, well, my mom calls me Boomba when she calls me Camido. She's like, oh you know, meet up on the team, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She's, she's proud. She's proud. And she, she, she's praying imagine. for me all the time, like to keep like excelling, you know and do do more she always imagine. also says that you know can't you make songs about galam say <laughs> <laughs> yeah but do you Does have, always have, to yeah, do but do you have any developmental <laughs> songs coming this year because i remember you performed at the vgm is right. from sugarcane and that's when you brought mayo Kun on for the very first time i was blown away by that surprise anyway but <laughs> is there any projects like that coming up um i feel like i, I make records about like um life situations right. and all of that like i i remember like making a song about how, how how people make decisions. I make all of those type of stuff, like, but developmental, I don't think that, I only make songs that I get inspired to do, okay. you know? So, and I feel like God puts like different agendas on different the hearts people. of different people. So okay. I only like, I'm blessed with a certain topic, I make it, right. you know? So I bring it out. So um, I feel like I'm, I'm playing my role mm. perfectly well. So mm. yeah, yeah, as, as like, you know, when it comes to me, then right. I would, you know, right. yeah. Mido, if, if I asked you right now, to describe your 2022, what would you say? To be honest, like, 
I'm sorry to say this, but my password has always been blessings. You know, wow. Wow. <laughs> my password has always you been. You better change that. That's this how I morning. feel. That's how I feel all the time. Like that's how I feel. I feel blessed. That's what it is because, bro, like. It life, life, you know, in its fullness, like entirety is blessings. That's what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to be alive, to be traveling around the world and 2022 has been a blessing and it's still been a blessing, you know, so I'm happy that I'm here. Like it's 25th of November. It's almost yeah. December. It's and... exactly a month to <laughs> yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. see. So blessing, blessing, blessing yeah. all around you. Yeah. Some people were in the industry way before you. Yeah. They still haven't been able to break through the Nigerian market, <laughs> the South African market. And you're sitting here this morning and you've broken out all over. I mean, who doesn't know Camilo in Nigeria right now? <laughs> that verse, show me a jigger, let me see, <laughs> is the number one verse everybody's used on social media. Yeah. You've, you've come out to do the verses for the other people and yeah. all. To get Daku, Mayokun, Kim Promise, together in a video was yeah. that easy now it wasn't easy like I, I will always give the credit to god i'm not saying that my, my team like didn't put in the work we put in the work but it's always number one god um you know because obviously if they were not healthy then they would not you know show up so i say god and i also say that the team like putting a lot of work mm. to you know be able to like um all the logistics and all mm. of that to, for all these guys to travel from UK, Nigeria, mm. come to Ghana, do the VGS, VGMAs amazing. with me and come for the video shoot. Like that was really like a blessing still, you know, it's God did. Blessing. <laughs> and you are about to blow minds yeah. with the newest one yeah. that's coming. Jola Balaba, <laughs> Crayon, yeah. Crayon Song. So I saw on your Instagram page that there's a collaboration yeah. between you, Crayon, um, Focalistic. Costa, uh, Costa Titch, Titch from South Africa and Focalistic. Yeah. I love Costa. Yeah. Charlie, hey, so how do you do it? How um, are you getting all these names to work with? What's working the magic? I don't even know. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's God. But I, I mean, like I'm, like, I'm a hungry person, to be honest. Like, when I had a song, I think um, we met somewhere in Nigeria or when, because I featured um, one of the Mavens as well, um, Magix, okay. on um, my, my latest Was it slow? single, Slow. It slow, yeah. You know, mm. and the video is out and it's been doing well. So um, I think one of the A&Rs. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold, hold up. He's doing tremendously well as well. And Crayon, he's also on um, the Mavens label. Charlie, hey, you've become a big boy, pal. Actually, I'm impressed. Tweeted, like, just top of my mind, I just tweeted and I said I was going to make a song with all the Mavens, one after the other. That's what you said. And I didn't even know like how I was going to do it. But yeah, so after I did a song with Magix, the a and was like, yo, we're trying to do a remix of Jola Balaba and we want you, the whole Magix. Like, you know, everyone wants you to be on it. And I'm like, well, what can I say? <laughs> so yeah, I worked on the verse. It's and been I, a <laughs> fabulous year for you. Yeah. And yeah. and have you guys done that yet? Have you recorded? Yeah. What was it recorded here? Or oh, you sent your verse to Actually, them? yeah, I recorded my verse in Ghana. Right. And I sent it over. Okay. And actually, like, three verses. Wow. And I picked one and I sent it over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. um, it was So, they're yet to master it and everything. No, it's done. It's out now. Like, it wow. came out, like, midnight. Wow. Yeah, it came out midnight. I remember wow. tweeting, I was like, yo, new music at midnight. And people were like, you cry, what? Like, we've not finished with slow and the World Cup is in play. And I'm like, you know, Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so two days ago, I was looking for one of my sweethe sweethearts here on the show, right. Purple. And then she comes in very grumpy around 9 a.m. I'm like, where are you coming from? <laughs> she says, I've been shooting a video for Camido. I said, what? Yeah. For Camido? And she t she tells me that it was shot by Rex yeah. and then produced yeah, by... Yeah, she was the producer. Big P! Yeah. Shouts yeah. to you, Big P, Purple, yeah. doing it for the motherland and for TV3 yeah. as well. Congratulations to you. And not forgetting that one that you did with Sinner Soul. Right. I spoke to her about three weeks ago. She was happy on that project with yeah. you. How yeah. did that also happen? Um, Sina is my sister. She's been my sister and a friend from time, mm. you know, so we've been hustling like back in the days together, you know, so in a studio. So um, one time I just reached out to her and I was like, yo, I think we should make some, some music, you know. So I invited her over to like my home where we had, um, you know, lunch, went into the studio and we made like a couple records, you know. 
Because I've got one for me. I've, she's got one for her. And we have one spare one. Between each other, right? <laughs> yeah. He says we've got one spare one. I see. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now the new West one, of course, with Mavens and um, with um, Crayon and then uh, Focalistic and then um, the teach. teach from South Africa is the latest. What's the title? It's called Jo Laba Laba. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. the remix of Jo Laba Laba, yeah. of course. So that's officially out. It's officially out. Today or when did it come out? Yeah, it came out today. Oh, today. Um, today, midnight. Okay. And it's, it's out on all platforms so people right. can get it. But right. I want people to also make sure they, they, they check out Slow Video on YouTube. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's run up the numbers. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we need the numbers. Yeah. Numbers do not lie. So mm. just make sure you help us get all the numbers that we need. Today's November 25. Yeah. In a month, it's Christmas. Yeah. Which shows are you on? Are you organizing anything for yourself? Are you traveling out? Are you on any Burner Boy, DeVito, Kiss Daniel show? What's what's the 411? Yeah, um, I think I'm on a Kiss Daniel show. Um, 23rd. Yeah, 23rd December. of December. Mm. But before that, I'm going to be in Zimbabwe on um, like next week, like a week from here, okay. from now. Um, which like Thursday on a fest. I'm going right. to be in Zimbabwe mm. from uh, first to like 10th. Then I'll be in Sierra Leone. Mm. Um, then I'll come back to Ghana. Then I just, I, I'm all over, to be honest. And I pray for, you know, the grace, the traveling mercies. And I, I just, I, I'll be all over, to be honest. I'll be on um, um, Afro Nation as well wow. on the 30th. Then I'll be in Uganda. You know, so we'll be, we'll be, Your we'll be. Your plate all, is full. We'll be all over by Your the grace of God. Your plate is you know? really <laughs> full. I see. So what's your, what's the name of your record label now? It's called Grind Don't Stop. It's always been. Grind Don't Stop. <laughs> yeah. And I see on your Instagram, your name now is Top Boy Camido. Yeah. Top it's boy. in order. Yeah, top You've boy. become a top boy right now. Yeah. I've always been a top boy. Like it's all, top boy is for me, like, like the explanation that I always tell people is mm. someone who, um, you know, from the, you know, being an underdog yeah. and you know hustling your way and making yeah. sure that you make it to the mainstream, you are top boy. You're a top you know boy. that should be like an inspiration, no, right. no, no intimidation to nobody. Congratulations you know? yeah. to you. Thank you. Are we getting any EPs, any albums early next year? Definitely. Um, my label, mm. we decided to make an EP. Um, it's called um, A Lifetime Is Not Enough. Okay. Um, it's, it's, we need eternity, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not enough. So that's meant to come out even before my album. Right. But I can assure you that, yes, um, Love Is The Answer, the album, is also going to come somewhere much. That one day, conk, like no change of days, wow. I promise. Wow. Yes, yes. I <laughs> Thank you for your time this morning.